we have completed the load curve and now we will start the economic factors and in that we will first study average load so what is average load an average load is the average amount of power we need to transfer over 0 to 24 hours of period here the time axis is from 0 to 24 hours this clearly means we are having the daily load curve and in one day the average amount of power we need to deliver is known as average load the main thing is the calculation of average load i will explain how we can calculate the average load once you understand the average load how to calculate it you can easily calculate the other factors therefore average load is important and to represent the average load we use p subscript avg so p avg is the representation of average load and it is equal to area area under under the load curve load curve in kilo watt hour or if power is given in megawatt then it will be megawatt hour over the total time the total time and the unit of time is hour total time is equal to 24 hours in this case if you have monthly load curve then the total time will be 30 or 31 multiplied with 24 hours because unit you have to focus it is in hour and to calculate the area under the load curve there are two ways the first way is to find out integration from 0 to 24 and you have to perform integration that is definite so perform integration from 0 to 8 for this and then you have to perform the integration of this from 8 to 12 in the same way perform the integration till 24 hours and once you have all the individual definite integrals add them and you will get the area under the load curve but we are not going to follow this process it will be lengthy instead of this we will try to break down the area in simple shapes the first shape i can see in this figure is a rectangle you can see a rectangle this rectangle so first we will calculate the area of this rectangle and i will call the area is a1 then you can see a triangle you can see a triangle i will call the area a2 after this we have another rectangle i will call the area a3 this is the rectangle again we have a triangle the right angle triangle area i will call is a4 and uh, the final one is this here the area is equal to 0 from 22 to 24 hours because power is equal to 0 so the area will be 0 but still i will call the area as a5 so the total area the total area is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 the first area a1 is equal to 22 0 to 22 is 22 multiplied with 100 so 22 multiplied with 100 area of rectangle plus area of this, this triangle is equal to half base into altitude base is equal to 12 minus 8 which is 4 and the altitude is 150 minus 100 that is 50 plus i will calculate area a3 it is again a rectangle you will have one side equal to 15 minus 12 which is 3 hours and the other side is equal to 50 50 plus area a4 again we will use half base into altitude base is equal to 3 and altitude is equal to 50 plus you will have 0 into 2 so this is what you have to calculate to find out the total area and once you are done with the calculation you will get 2525 and what is the unit unit is megawatt hour so mega what hour is the unit and this is the total area now to find out average power we will divide the total area by the total time the total time is 0 to 24 hours this means average power is equal to 2525 over 24 which is equal to 105.2 megawatt the unit is megawatt because 105.2 
is the magnitude of average power and unit of 2525 25 is megawatt hour and unit of 24 is hour so hour hour will cancel out and we are left with megawatt so this is all for this lecture but there is another important thing regarding the average power we already know power is equal to energy upon time or we can say energy is equal to power multiplied with time so here if i multiply time on both the sides then this time and this total time will cancel out so time into average power is equal to area under the load curve and time into power is equal to energy so area under the load curve is the energy so if you have to calculate the energy then simply calculate the area under the curve and uh, this will be the unit of the energy kilowatt hour and if power is in megawatt the unit is going to be megawatt hour so this is all for the average load in the next presentation we will study plant load factor